So, today if you ask people which is the better movie, Batman Returns or Batman Forever, many people might say Batman Returns. But nearly 30 years ago in 1995, when Batman Forever was released in theaters, people clearly preferred Batman Forever to Batman Returns because Batman Forever made 70 million more at the box office than Batman Returns. And Batman Returns made over $130 million less at the box office than the original Batman. Numbers don't lie. There were quite a few people who didn't like Batman Returns. I don't blame them. The movie doesn't suck, but it, it is dark and dreary, almost to the point of being depressing. And it scared a whole lot of children. There were a whole lot of children walking out of movie theaters, bawling their eyes out because the movie scared them half to death. Now, I don't have any children, but let's pretend that I would have had a son back then. Let's pretend that I took my son to see Batman Returns. And as we were leaving the theater, he was bawling his eyes out because the movie scared him half to death. I would be very upset. Now, I'm going to say three things in defense of Batman Forever, and they involve Batman Returns. One, Batman Forever made $70 million more at the box office than Batman Returns. Two, uh, Batman Forever did not scare a bunch of children. And three, Batman Forever did not enrage parents. And one thing that disappointed me was when Michael Keaton decided not to star in Batman Forever. He said the script sucked. Well, I could respect that decision except a few years later he turned around and starred in one of the worst movies I've ever seen, Jack Frost, where he died and came back as a snowman. That is without doubt one of the worst movies I've ever seen. So my question to Michael Keaton is, why? Why did you refuse to star in Batman Forever and then star in that crappy piece of crap, Jack Frost. As bad as some people consider Batman Forever to be. It was a freaking masterpiece compared to Jack Frost. So Michael Keaton, why? Why did you refuse to star in Batman Forever only to star in that piece of crap a few years later? Okay, and they offered you $15 million to star in it. I'll never see a million dollars in my lifetime. You would have gotten $15 million. And you refused? You said it sucked? Well, Jack Frost was far worse. I just don't understand you, Michael Keaton. You're a talented actor, yes. You know, there's no doubt about that. You were very talented, but that's one thing I'll never understand. Why you uh, refused to do Batman Forever and then starred in Jack Frost. But I didn't hate Batman Forever. I still don't. I don't hate Batman Returns. Uh, but it definitely isn't my favorite of those Batman movies. This has been my video. Thanks for watching.